Welcome back to the podcast Launchpad and frequently asked question number seven in my 30 days of posting a new episode a day during the month of November. So today's question is, how do I reach out to influencers to be a guest on my show? This is a pretty big and definitely a frequently asked question. When you first start to get guests, or even first start your podcast, if, it, if you want it to be an interview style podcast, we always want big guests, don't we? Whether they are big in the industry or in general influencers, it's like those are the guests we tend to go for or want to go for, but tend not to right off the bat because it's like, oh, I just started my show or uh, even if we if if it's uh we've been in it for a while but don't have a ton of followers and don't have that proof like to back up the value of the show then we hesitate to reach out to people you know we don't want to be told no we feel embarrassed about reaching out if we don't have the numbers that the influencer has like even on social media how do i reach out to someone who has hundreds of thousands or a million followers if I don't. Okay. So the first thing is you have to have the right mindset. And that mindset is that your show offers something of great value, even when you don't have the same following that the guests you want to have on have, you still offer value. All right. And that's why you're reaching out to these potential guests. You aren't reaching out for them to boost your numbers. There is no guarantee that having on a huge name is going to boost your following or your downloads. Let me tell you that right now. Okay. I'm not going to stay on this for very long, but I'll just tell you that I have had big guests on who relatively big. Okay. Where my numbers did not go up at all. Either they didn't share the episode or for whatever reason, it just maybe the topic wasn't what people were looking for or they or the guest has already been on so many other podcasts that it just I just didn't get a spike in numbers. In contrast, I have had on relative unknowns and got a huge spike, maybe because they shared and they did. Or it was a topic that my listeners were really interested in and new listeners were really interested in. So you just don't know which guests are going to result in a spike in numbers for you. So do not count on big guests to result in more downloads and more listeners for you. Okay. But... It's still great to have on influencers and industry ex big industry experts. So when, rather before you reach out, you need to be consistent in your messaging. You need to be consistent in when you release your episodes and you need to be consistent in how you promote your episodes because good guests are going to check all of that out first. They're going to make sure that you release episodes regularly, like on the same day every week and every week. So not just here and there and on random days. They're going to make sure that you promote your episodes and that you promote your guest episodes. If you're not promoting and not promoting enough, then they're going to assume that you won't promote their episode and they're not going to want to come on. So do all of that first before reaching out. When you do reach out, you need to focus on the fact that you and the guest will be co-creating value for your listeners. And you can say that. You can, you can uh, propose to them, hey, I'd love for you to come on and talk about and propose a topic to them so that we can create lots of value for my listeners. When you've put it that way, that is showing that you really care about your listeners above all else. Because you do. That should be your priority, your listeners. It's certainly my priority, y'all. Y'all are my number one priority in running this show. You also want to point out what you love about that potential guest and their work. Boost their ego. It counts. It matters so much. If you are just reaching out and not saying anything about what you love about them, 
why are they going to take you take you seriously? It's as if you are just reaching out because of the number of followers that they have. So say something very specific, either I love this blog post that you wrote about blah, blah, blah. I love this episode that you did on da, 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 that Instagram post that you made on blah, blah date really hit me. And not just, I love it, but tell why very specifically don't go on too long. Everything needs to be succinct. I'll do an entire long episode about this in the future, but for now, just this is, you know, in brief. Uh, when you reach out, share your links. Some people don't do that. I've had people reach out to me. They don't share anything. I'm Googling them. I'm Googling them. I shouldn't have to do that. They need to give me their links. And also when you reach out, tell them what makes your show unique. So this goes back to your niche and your concept. And when I talked about the Jeremy Ends onlyness statement, if your show is a one and only, then tell them that. And again, all of this is very brief. And if you are just starting out and you want to reach out to high profile guests right away, you can, even if you haven't launched your podcast yet, you can. So reach out to people you already know in your network and ask them, do you know so-and-so? Do you know someone who knows so-and-so? Or who do you know who? So who do you know who could come on my podcast and talk about blah, blah, blah. Come up with topics first. Don't just make it a free for all. That requires other people to think too much. Come up with topics and then ask people who they know. And if you have a specific idea of specific guests, then ask around for that. Look on LinkedIn and see who's connected to whom and then reach out like that. And be... Don't make assumptions, you know, don't make it all about you. So it's all about mutual support. So find a way to phrase it in a way that's not all me, 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 take, take, take. There has to be a give in there as well. Okay, that's it for today. If you have a question you want me to answer, email me at hello at AngelaKellysmith.com or DM me on Instagram. Link is in the show, note, show notes. And I will see you next time with another Frequently Asked Question.